Choosing between the Mercedes-Benz EQC selling less than 500 units per month and Tesla selling 50,000 units per month is a tough call. Actually, sales figures don't always tell the whole story. Just think about how many cars are sold in Los Angeles in a month, and I'd wager that 90% of those folks haven't even seen an EQC in person. As a two-time Mercedes owner, it's disheartening to see a century-old automaker struggling to compete with Tesla. Let's start by comparing their exteriors. Take a look at this Mercedes-Benz. This logo is so small. Who can see it clearly? Take a lesson from Mercedes-Benz. Their logo is bigger than my face. How much more value does that add when you drive out? Ah, not to mention similar models from Tesla. You should really learn from Mercedes-Benz on how to do something similar. Moreover, Mercedes-Benz not only looks good, but also offers a better riding experience. When it comes to electric cars, what's most important is efficiency. Battery range. Like this. I'll have a friend of mine who knows cars take a look. Unbelievable. Nobody would buy this. You're afraid this car might turn out to be a lemon. I'll have a friend who knows about used cars take a look for you. In your hands, there are more than 40 units. You're smiling while saying it. Isn't this Mercedes-Benz logo great? If you truly like this car, you can contact me. Because the competition fee for our car is even more expensive, as their manufacturer cannot offer direct discounts. They can only offer sponsorship to me. Hold on a moment. Don't rush. You can really contact me. Actually, this matter isn't so funny. Who can guarantee that they've never made a purchasing mistake? In my opinion, let's save up some money and buy a Porsche next year. Let's see if they can keep up then. 